Hi everyone and welcome to Feasts of Feywood, the home of nerdy cooking. Now I realise I've been a bit MIA for a while and I am going to be doing a video about that. It's going to be on my main channel though, so go over to Lady of Feywood if you do want to see what's been going on and why I haven't been around for a little bit. Um, but I am finally back. This is a video that I've been meaning to do for the longest time. I've been collecting all sorts of cool nerdy gadgets for the kitchen and I wanted to share them with you guys but life kind of got in the way and it's taken me a while to actually get around to filming this. So finally here I am <laughs> here to share some fun bits and pieces with you all and I will link what I can in the description box. Not everything's going to be linkable unfortunately but I'll see if I can find alternatives to anything that I can possibly find. Anyway let's just get started. So first things first is this lovely piece here. So when I went to Supernova this year I saw this really cool uh, stand there that had things like armor and really nice metalwork stuff they had just like steampunky things just beautifully made like super high quality um, homeware stuff and things like that like it really stood out this shop it was I was drawn to it like a moth to a flame I was like ooh, those are all the things that I really love and I love how they're made they're you know things like that are kind of expensive because you can see the workmanship and things in it and this is no different this was $90 that's Australian dollars though, so um, I don't know if that was a good price for this, but I haven't seen one like it before. So uh, it's got beautiful detailing in here, very Viking looking. Uh, look, I'm no expert, so I've got no idea what the symbology actually means, but I'll try and put in some B-roll to actually show you some better shots because I know the lighting in this kitchen is not the greatest ever. Uh, but I just thought this would be so cool. I used to make mead and I would like to make some again. I haven't made any for a little while, but I just pictured <laughs> drinking my homemade mead in a really cool beer stein like this or really anything, you know, drinking out of it like that or having it as a display piece even. So woodworking is just very nicely done on it and it just looks like a super high quality piece you know the seams are just really nice it's got metal on the inside there yeah I'm just very very happy with my cool beer stein <laughs> now I'll say this is one that I don't know the name of the shop that I bought it from from supernova sometimes they give you a card this place didn't I should have asked for it because I would have loved to have bought things from them again but Unfortunately, I have no clue. <laughs> so I'll see if I can find something similar that I can link to. Now this is something I can link to and I have two of these. <laughs> I have one over there but it's a little gr grungy at the moment we've been using it. So uh, I wanted to get some really nice, um, I was going to say napkins, <laughs> tea towels, that's the word, tea towels. Um, because you know I was starting to film things in the kitchen. I didn't want just some old crappy looking tea towel there. And so I went searching and I found this place on Etsy that did some nice different prints and things. This was the one that like stood out to me. And if you can tell, it's got like stags on it. It's got like woodland creatures, mushrooms, little acorns, all sorts of really cool things. And then it's edged with this like crochet stitch. Only downside, it is plain on the back. It's really hard to get like a handmade tea towel that has both sides though. So yeah, that's just one thing to be aware of. I really love this. Unfortunately, it seemed like there was only one of this and one of like, they're pretty similar, but one's, I think this one's a bit more teal and the other one's blue. I don't know if she's gonna bring them back. I might reach out and see just so that I can, you know, let you guys know. But if I can't do that, like if she doesn't have those, I'll see if I can link to something else, but oh, it's so nice to have really cool printed tea towels. A dark. Less, less, less. Uh, I'm just, I'm such a kid. I love this so much. I mean, can you get a better nerdy kitchen gadget than this one? Yes, into battle. Uh, so I found this. This came up randomly you know it's one of those things where like the algorithm just kind of gets you in this moment and just serves you up something that you're like yes this is what I've been searching for my whole life <laughs> I honestly I haven't used it because I'm just so precious about it I'm like 
No, I can't wreck my beautiful grater of a you know, knife sword thing. <laughs> I got this from Peter's on Kensington, I think it's called, uh, an Australian site that sells a lot of like homeware and kitchenware and stuff like that. Everything would be in description box, like I said. I actually spent, I spent more than I should have spent on this, but I had to. Surely you guys understand, right? Like, I mean, I had to. I think, cause I think it ended up being like $20 or something like that. But like, I mean, you can't put a price on the fun that I'm gonna have going around my kitchen with my little grater sword, having pretend battles. I love this so much. <laughs> and I mean, it's like probably not gonna do that much. I could probably grate a little bit of like, I don't know, very fine parmesan or something like that but it, like it's very fine or oh, zest something i could zest some things with it <laughs> it's really honestly for the aesthetic for sure <laughs> now that's not the end of the kitchen weapons i have to share with you guys i have this monstrosity here uh, so i fell in love with the um, kitchen axes that they had on the Molnier website, the restaurant website, and they're not cheap. I think they're $180 or something or $190. They're these cool kitchen axes that you can like chop things with and like cut pizzas and whatever else. And they look really cool. And I just loved the idea of being in the kitchen and pulling out this ax and <laughs> You know, I'm just a big kid really, aren't I? Um, but I just loved that idea. But the price was really prohibitive. I was sort of, oh, do I have enough money and do I want to spend that much money? Because that's a lot of money to spend on an ax. But so then I was sort of like, oh, what other cheaper options are there around? And you know, there were, there's all different ones, but this is one that I found. I think it was from AliExpress and it's so shiny. It's not exactly like it but I've seen a bunch of different types of kitchen axes from people and it's the same sort of shape as that but this is never going to cut anything whatsoever so I don't don't recommend this um, it's got a little sheath it doesn't need it like it's honestly it's like the bluntest thing ever it looks cool I regret my purchase though on this one I think it was around about $20 or something like that. I've since found somewhere else that I might end up buying from which is on Etsy It's uh, a seller that actually makes kitchen axes and it's a little bit cheaper than the one from the restaurant Which I mean both are very nice, but this one I think ended up being about 130 versus 190 so a bit of a cost saver and it supports a Etsy maker so I'm happy about that so I don't know if I will buy it like I haven't bought it yet, but I mean, I love the idea, right? Like, what do you guys think? Would you use a kitchen axe? I feel like I'm blinding you with this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the, the light's really shining off it. Yeah, would you use a kitchen axe? I mean, I realize you've got to be careful around kids. A lot of them do come with a sheath because, you know, they are sharp. And if you want to actually use them in the kitchen, you've got to keep them sharp with like a sharpening stone. Um, which is fine. I have a sharpening stone, so that's all good. And yeah, I don't know. I kind of think it's a cool idea. I just need a better version of it. <laughs> now, while we're on AliExpress, this is another thing I got, but this one I think is going to work out, although I will say I haven't actually tried it out. I kept seeing these rollers that have like an embossed shape on it. And you can use it on biscuits and things to give this really cool pattern. And I just thought that was just so awesome. I guess this isn't really nerdy so much as creative, but I don't know, I had to share it with you because I just always wanted one of these. And yeah, I figured this would be a really cool way to make some really interesting biscuits. So we'll have to try it one time. Uh, I think it'll just be a fun little project and then, you know, maybe somehow color or like put icing on the embellished bits you can get all different like embossing patterns and stuff like that as far as like baking wise i know for biscuits it works out it might work for pastry as well potentially uh, but yeah i just think it's gonna be fun also my friend was like looking at it going oh i could use that for like polymer clay and stuff like that which you definitely could use it for that so yeah, just a fun little kitchen gadget. Now I think this is one of the first kind of kitchen gadgety things that I bought when I was thinking of doing this. In fact, I bought these even before that because 
I just thought it would be cool for my uh, Feast of Fable channel to have some sort of medieval sort of cutlery. I, I, and I don't know if this is what people in medieval times used, but this is just what I think of when I think of a medieval or at least a fantasy medieval cutlery. So I got these like hand forged uh, metal cutlery thing with a metal, uh, like a leather sheath, which is really cool. Like you could, I don't know, if you're LARPing or something, you could sort of attach it to a belt or something like that. Uh, and I just love them. They're so well done. Uh, I'll link the shop. They get really good feedback. I am very happy with the purchase. Uh, these I think were a little cheaper than some of the other places that I saw. So, and, and with having still good feedback. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go with them. And I am very happy with the quality of this. It's really, really nice. I just figured it would be so fun. You know, if I do cook something, I can then like taste test it using my little medieval uh, cutlery. <laughs> Uh, again, this is one of those things that I saw, I think I saw someone post about it on Facebook actually, and it was just like for a meme, it was, I, I think, I'm, I don't know, I see all sorts of things and I always forget where I saw it in context. It was either someone was memeing it or someone was like, oh, how cool is this? And <laughs> I saw it and I was like, oh, I need to go searching for where you can buy one of these. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Can you see? You probably can't see it very well, but it's a, it's a sword at the base of your frying pan. It's a, it says kitchen knighthood. And then I saw this other one, uh, another version that says like eggs caliber or something like that. And I was like, oh, I love that so much. <laughs> It's so good. So it's like a sword, the sword in the frying pan, basically. I mean, how good is that? I just love that. I'm just going to end up having every single thing look like a friggin' sword at this point, but you know, I'm not mad about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's so funny. I've been filming all this time and I'm not even sure if it was obvious in my previous footage, but I was like, I had put my phone into my dress here because I didn't have any pockets. This is what happens when people don't give uh, women pockets in their dresses. So I was like, oh, let me just put my phone there so I can carry things. And I was like, where's my phone? I've been filming with like a big rectangle square thing. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> so I saw this one at a um, secondhand store and I was like, well, this could be fun. I've got to say, holding this now, I feel like the uh, start of the fifth element where the saying, Aziz, light. And he's got that like thing that he's like reflecting light. Cause I'm like reflecting light on you guys so much with pretty much everything. Anyway, I was trying to look in secondhand stores for like, you know, cool, uh, nerdy sort of kitchenware and things. Like, what's out there, what's fun. A lot of it's not that interesting to be honest like just not suitable but I did see this and thought you know what I could totally picture some sort of medieval feast on a silver platter like this and so I've, I picked this one up I thought it was perfect it was only how much was it it was like ten dollars or something like that I think uh, and I just think that that is going to be so good to put some beautiful feasts on so I don't know, I might even get some other silverware and things like that. I just think that's going to be super fun if I want to do a really cool setting on the table that looks quite medieval and awesome. Uh, obviously I can't link it because it's second hand, but check out your second hand stores. Now while I'm here I might as well show you a couple of things that I already have that I think are cool and that you might be interested in that I had bought beforehand but I just figure I'll share them. This awesome drinking horn again from Molnier. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that not quite right. It's one of those words that I, it's just like just can't quite make my mouth do the thing so I apologize but anyway you can see Oh, can you see? You can't see anything because it's so bright in here. I'll put some, again, B-roll footage in, but uh, I love this drinking horn. I just think it's so fun. Obviously, I bought the stand for it to sit on as well. I don't actually drink anything out of it. It's more of a prop, but you can get them. I think you had to get it treated. Uh, they did give information when we were at the restaurant about it, but I just thought I would use it as um, a really fun little display prop. So, and the last thing is a little bit heavy. Oh, it's this, and now I'm gonna put it down because it's very heavy. 
Again, I'll try and put some B-roll in for that as well. So um, that is, I believe it's called a Podigy. And what I, I was looking for basically a cauldron looking thing and they're not cheap and they're not easy to find big ones either. And when I was looking around, I saw that and it, was, it wasn't too bad as far as cauldrons go, but again, they are expensive. So it was like, I wanna say I want 160 or something like that. I'll have to have a look and it was from a camping store so they're cast iron totally usable on a campfire and things I have only used it for prop purposes but it's good to know that I could use it if I wanted to and uh, yeah if you're wanting to get that kind of cauldron effect even just for serving wear then it could be a fun thing to get so um, I will try and find a link for one of those as well. Well guys, that's it for me and I just wanted to share some really fun kitchen gadgets. If you know of any really cool nerdy kitchen gadgets I should be aware of, please let me know because I always love to have a look at them. Uh, I will try and be a bit more present on this channel for sure, but it will depend on some things. Again, if you want to know more about behind the scenes, Go over to Lady of Haywood to see uh, my sort of life update thing. I do have some uh, cookbooks that came in in the meantime, so I'm hoping to get back to doing a bit of cooking on this channel. So I hope you're keen for that. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe if you do want to see more nerdy cooking. If you've got any suggestions for videos on here, do let me know. Uh, and yeah, I'll see the rest of you next time in Feast of Faywood. Bye everyone. My name is Anigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die.